Hey everybody, welcome back to another Audubon Church Online, OC Youth Online. We're really excited you guys joined us. So you guys are in my basement today. It has been a super busy week hanging out, trying to get refinery laid out. Uh, Cause yes, we are coming back inside here shortly. October 4th is the plan at 9.15. We're gonna have just like we normally would have our traditional service in the refinery. Uh, the only thing we're gonna ask is in the common areas, you mask up. Uh, and then during the message, you guys can take that off, but we'll be saying mask up again as well. Those are the only two real big stipulations, obviously social distance, uh, but we're gonna break out into small groups just like we did on the field at Welty Road. Again, if it rains at Welty Road when we're still out at the park, we're not going to be out. Uh, we're not gonna transition. They'll have church at 915 in the church building, we won't have an OCU. So um, just know that October 4th is really when we're looking to start at, uh, at the refinery. So really, really excited about getting back to that. So that's the announcements happening there. Let's get into it. Pastor Mike today is gonna be talking about my God. And last week we talked a little bit about the God of me, how we make ourselves uh, God sometimes, where we take control of our lives and we, we do the direction. Uh, that we think that we should go in life <clears throat> and we do it without God. And when we do that, unfortunately, um, consequences happen because God's got a perfect plan for us. And so as we go through life, yes, sin is going to happen. Brokenness is going to happen and consequences are going to happen because of that. Not only our sin, but sin of the people around us. But what ends up happening is, is when we do our plan and stuff like that, we go down rabbit holes we've not... We don't want to go down or we put ourselves in situations where we can sin or we go through struggles and things like that. God's way is always perfect. So our encouragement for you is to dig into that Bible, pray, get engaged in God and what he has for you. He designed you perfectly, wonderfully beautiful with a design and a plan. Follow that plan, which leads us into today because Pastor Mike's going to talk about the God of science. And this is a tricky topic for a lot of people because they go, wait a second, shouldn't we listen to science? Shouldn't we understand that? Yes, God created science. Like everything works together because God put it together. Uh, and so science is complementary to um, how we're made. He designed us in a specific way. All of our systems in our body, our blood, uh, muscular, skeletal, all of those things work because God designed it that way. Ecosystems in this world. So science is not a bad thing. A lot of people are like, well, you can only be Christian, you can only be science. Uh, no, we, as Pastor Mike talks about today, try to explain things. Uh, we see something that happens, we take all the facts and we go, this is a possibility of how we think it happens. Uh, and there's, there's different sciences involved. The science of being able to replicate it. Well, okay, if we can replicate it, maybe that's part of how God designed it. And so the hope is, is you, you start to understand science. You guys are getting into the science now. You're gonna take biology, physics, chemistry, all of those things and understand that science is not a bad thing. But what ends up happening, uh, as Pastor Mike again talks about today, is we all of a sudden become, uh, Oh, the science says it, therefore we have to do it. No, we can be people that ask questions. We can be people um, that if something, you know, science at one point said that the earth was flat. And so all of a sudden we, we need to ask questions. We need to explore. We need to do those things because it is part of God's design. It's really cool to understand how God created things. Uh, but just with, just like with any good thing, People can use science for bad as well, political gain. He talks about that a little today and it, it, it can ruffle some feathers to say, well, the science says this. Well, did we know the science said, uh, Pastor Mike uses what's happening in the world today. Did we know what the real science said about COVID? No, we were learning and as the science caught up with, um, and as the science caught up and we understood things more, then we could start to apply science properly. Uh, and, and it caused a lot of tension and conflict. And so a lot of people put their, their, their hope and their trust in the science. And, and there's great verses that talk about, hey, listen, your days are numbered. God knows from the time he designed you in the womb, he, he designed a plan for you. And then he also, he also knows when your last day is. And, and for us, for Christians, that's not a bad thing. 
death is actually going to be the best day of our life. I know that sounds really crazy and counterintuitive, um, but, but heaven is our reward. Again, we want to live out our lives. Let me say this very specifically for, for especially teens that are figuring out emotions and things like that. Our lives were laid out by God. He knows everything that's going to happen to us. He knows our struggles. He knows how we're going to handle things. We don't get to choose when that day is. God designed that for us. And so it's very important to understand that God knows what that is. God knows how to walk us through things. He knows how to design. He designed us. He knows the decisions that we're going to make. Um, and the cool part is we get to explore and discover that. That's, that's the whole, you know, it's almost like a scientific experience. We get to explore and discover how God created us and for which purpose he created us. It's, it's a great, cool science experiment. But the problem is we put uh, our faith in theories and, and, and hypotheses and, and we, you know, Big Bang Theory, we try to figure out how things were done and we, we put an answer to that, but then it doesn't hold water if you ask questions. And so then you move on uh, or you go to the Bible and it says, hey, God created it. He designed it. He knitted it all together all at once in six days, including you and I and our, our pets, our animals, all the plants and water. He designed it all to work and he spun it into motion. Um, that's how cool our God is. Um, and people go, no, I need a, a definitive answer. Therefore, it has to be Big Bang. Well, when we put our when we put our trust in science, what ends up happening is is we we get skewed. All of a sudden, oh, the world's flat. And so, if you're wrong, it, it opens the door for sin as we start to argue about the answer. When God says, hey, just have a little bit of faith and understand that I designed this, and in designing this. Um, I created you like this cool scavenger hunt, if you will, of who you are, uh, and then just trust that I'm in control. And so, yeah, there's a ton of faith involved in that, but boy, there's way more faith in the sciences uh, and some of the sciences that are more just theories right now than sciences. 100 million years old, this earth, and, and this animal evolved over this amount of time. Like, there's way more faith involved in that than there is believing that God just put it there is a creator and he designed us and he's he's got a plan for us and he knit you together with the plan and the design like whew, there's there's not much faith in that you go all right i was designed for something uh and we get the joy of figuring that out <clears throat> and so but unfortunately we put our faith in science and and we can see the conflict that that what happens when we don't understand the science or you know covid right now we don't understand it and so this person thinks it's this this treatment is this this treatment's that and all of a sudden there's infighting there's arguing uh and there's there's bitterness and anger so um, when we put our trust in the science it can open the door for us to sin as well and so until we understand everything uh, i think there's got to be a grace period there's got a period of I don't know if that's the answer. It can't be replicated yet. It can't be, you know, straight on down the line. Pastor Mike's going to talk about some of the different sciences as well. Um, but at at the end of the day, science has to be has to be has to be understood that if God created it, He created it to work seamlessly. And unfortunately, with sin in this world, we either have our own opinions involved with it. We're very uh, objective instead of subjective to science, and uh, and then. What ends up happening is then we argue, I'm better, you're better, and it opens the door to sin. And so the cool part about God is he's still in control. He still knows what's going to happen. He still knows your life and my life. And he didn't, uh, as Pastor, like I said, Pastor Mike talks about it. You and I can't add another day. We shouldn't be scared of COVID. Um, yes, we should be cautious, but not scared. Um, we shouldn't let it rule our lives because Ultimately, God is in control of all of this. And for us Christians, the day I die is not the worst day of my life. In fact, it's going to be one of the best. Yes, I'll be sad when uh, I have to go because, you know, my girls, I want to see them grow up. Theo, I want to see him grow up. I want to, I want to be there for my wife. But at the same time, my hope is and my prayer is, is all of them are going to be in all of you are going to be in heaven with me. Uh, you guys are going to be there with me. And so it is going to be just a day of celebration of the life of discovery of I got on this earth, but also a celebration that I'm going to be in the kingdom and in the presence of God. And my hope is, is you're there too as we celebrate um, 
we celebrate the life he gave us, the creation on this earth, and, the, and even the time of, of strife where he brings us through. And so God is such a cool God. He's the God of science. Um, we're just here to discover and figure it out. And so uh, with that, I hope that Pastor Mike's message makes more sense to you. I know it ruffles some feathers sometimes when we have to have the hard and abrasive conversation, but ultimately what ends up happening is as you and I grow closer, we ask questions, we connect as humans, we learn because ultimately you and I don't know all the answers until we ask the questions and somebody calmly has discussions with us and we ask questions back and forth and we go say, I don't know that, but let's go discover it together, including with God's word and in science and, and even philosophy and things like that. So my hope is you guys will continue to dig in the word, continue to get close to God and love him unconditionally because his, his domain over the world and science is so, so cool. We get to just treasure hunt it out and discover it for ourselves. God is pretty cool. So with that, let me pray. God, whoo, look at that hair. <laughs> God, you are a great God. We love you and we are so grateful. You laid the plot lines of the earth. You knit us together in your womb. You love us unconditionally. And so God, we pray that you continue to give us grace and mercy as we figure out what it is that you designed us for. Keep us away from the evil one and his evil plots and plans this week as we go about our days and get ready for school and get back into that. God, you are such a good God. Be with our teachers and our the staff. Be with uh, new programs like the OC camp, uh, the the day day camp. It's not day camp. It's it's just the learning center. God, we are so, so excited for all the opportunities you gave us to be a mission uh, and a light to our community and our world. God, just whew, continue to pour out your blessings as we all figure out the science together uh, and we learn how cool you created us. And so it's in your son's name we pray, who died on the cross that gave us that relationship. And it's his, his name we pray. And all God's people said, Amen, pip pip cheerio. We'll see you next week.